Okay, here we go. Back playing more backgammon. It's been a little while. I got a new computer, a whole new setup. Nice. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, Ian, of course, back to play more. Uh, Ian, how are you? Doing well, man. All right, I'm sending you the invite right now. Plan to nine. A lot of excitement. I'm trying to play more now uh, with this tournament in Boston coming up. Uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm playing a lot of money play lately. Good low PR there, but match play I've really struggled uh, with. So I think this is good for uh, I have a tournament this week as well. Oh, nice. What? Uh, which tournament might that be? Down in Houston? Uh, the San Antonio, uh, Texas Championship. So it's a big one. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's going to be. Are they live streaming that? They are going to be streaming that, yep. Nice. Uh, I'm playing a couple events. I'm going to be doing uh, Speed. Um, going to be doing the Advanced Main, so like Intermediate, and uh, the Texas Classic Jackpot. So it's like, uh, it's, like it's like a lower than limited jackpot, but it's still like for Intermediates. Nice. Very cool. Um, yeah. Just I'm going to leave the pip count off so I can practice as if I'm playing over the board. Uh, so already a test. I'm tempted to, I don't know if I kill or if I play this. Uh, I kind of like, why not kill? Is there a reason? Let's take a look at how this would go. And then I guess I would play three like that. I think I like this. I think that's the right play if I had to guess. Yeah, I, I already don't know. So that's fun. My... Yeah, right. And then how about... Let's try that. Yeah, I think that's probably pretty good. Uh, I would love to make like the five point here, or actually maybe cover that ten. Okay, double threes again. That's a good one. Well, I'm tempted to yeah. do this. I don't know if anything else is going to look quite as compelling. I think that seems pretty good. I could yeah, cover even covering both points. What five out of thirty-six to hit? Uh, is it even that many? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, that's not one of them. So let's see, four, and then, uh, let's see. The five is tough. Yeah, it is a little tricky. Oh, well, looking pretty bloody here. Um, I think I'm going to play, this is tough, I don't think I want to play out because uh, I don't want to get that one pointed on. Uh, so yeah. you have to play in the outfield rather than actually be able to point on it. Yeah, and I really I don't see a reason why I wouldn't be doubling right now. I'm sure the cube is, is long overdue. Was it long? I mean, I just rolled my no, second. No, 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 no. I mean, yeah, no, sorry. Not long overdue. I mean, the fact that you didn't insta-cube, right? So oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That is, uh, that is, no, this is correctly timed for sure. So yeah. As soon as I roll, Four or five, I knew it was coming. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't I don't think you had any cube savers, no matter what you played. No, um, maybe, I don't know, probably not. 3-2 or something. 4-2? Yeah, 4-2 would have been fun. Um, let's see here. One. Hit. Uh, ooh, this is a tough one. Um... You know, I'm just going to drop this one. I, dr I drop all day, for sure. Yeah. I, I hate going down 4 nothing after the first yeah. game. And yeah. I, I can't stand it, going down 4 nothing. Uh, um, so 6-5, uh, pretty standard. Yeah, I would say so. 6-3, also standard. This is eh, kind of a test. Yeah, I think it's a hit as well. That's right, yep. Uh... Hmm. I think I mean, for one, some re weird reason, I want to come in on the one and play four down as like a counter slot since you're going to prioritize covering your bar. But that does seem kind of long term inflexible. Uh, versus like this actually reduces shots, right? Duplicates some stuff. Huh. This I just have, like, I don't even know where to begin on the, like, backgammon theory of this. Like, I really, for some reason, I really like the look of this. But is this 
even more aggressive or is this even better? Oh, I know I'm taking a long time for, yeah, it's fine, man. for, uh, I just don't have any idea. This is just interesting. I don't have any idea what to do. Um, I am going, so let's see, I'm only leaving six, four numbers to hit versus more numbers than that to hit. Okay. So that doesn't reduce shots. I'm going to go with this. Oh man. Is it even this? Now I'm thinking about this. Is that crazy? That's crazy, right? That's crazy talk. Let's do this. Sorry for taking yeah, so long. The slot is, is crazy. Actually, I think I like this play. I definitely want to come in on, with, on the four. Um, yeah, I don't know what I, I – though. coming in on the one is so weak long term, I think. I think that uh, reason being that if I were to make the five here, it's not like the end of the world. And if I were to make the uh, bar point, um, then yeah. you're going to want to have the advanced anchor. Yeah. For sure. So that's like priority one, right? Definitely. And that being said, a uh, couple choices here. Actually. Yeah, yeah. I think this has to be right. I agree. Um, yeah. And that's a good return. That's a good shot. Four, six, move for two. Play that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Uh, I think I just want to do this. I would imagine. I don't think it's a kill. I know I'm behind in the race, but I think you're not flexible. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, six and two, I think looks fine. Start making a home board. That's a good roll for you. Yeah. Um, let's see. More down is fine. I'd probably make the bar, but I that might yeah, be wrong. I thought about it, but I think the, I think the idea is that you're so far advanced that I can pretty easily dump behind yeah true and i would need six five to be able to safely clear the mid yeah without an intermediate uh landing path but making the bar might be right i was ready for you to roll six five that would have been yeah right for comedy the move oh. there it is oh, finished uh so i think i just want to keep Keep on keeping on, making my home board. If it's time, I think a lead of eighteen with an extra landing pad on a five point holding game. I think is a key. Okay, what's the point of turning on the pip count when you're playing against Ian? He's just going to tell you. <laughs> I guess from now on, though, you know that you could just make it up. Like, in a close race, you could be like, well, I'm up 13. I guess it's time to queue. <laughs> uh, I wonder, I, I, I think I've been in situations with, where I was, like, a long time ago playing against Bill Riles, who obviously can count like very, very quickly. Yeah. And I'm counting the race, and like he says the race like aloud. He's like, it's this to this. What do you want to do? And I'm just like, you know, this isn't some kind of a trick. And he's like, well, you can count it yourself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, that's that'd be pretty funny if he gets you used to like the first few times you do check him on it. And then, yeah. Uh, I, don't, I don't even know if this is a cube. It wouldn't surprise me if it is, but I definitely don't think it's a drop. I, I don't think I would be cubing. Yeah. I don't know if I would cube just yet. I'm definitely not folding. I think that, um, you know, there's like these rules that I remember, and one is <coughs> about 20 up in the race, you know, with, when you account for like four that you'll probably get, which I did end up getting exactly on this. From this roll, when you have an extra landing pad and your eight point against a five point holding game, I think is a cube. Maybe I'm just making that up. Okay. I need to, I definitely haven't studied five point holding games at all in any major way. So that's going to happen. That's happening. And that's happening. I think I need to maintain the pressure. Yeah. And I'm really glad I did. Yeah. Although it's probably going to crack here, but show me ace deuce. Okay, not quite. Six and I think my timing is okay to play just down. 
That's tricky. Nah. It's just ugly. So I actually was watching a YouTube video the other day about why, how um, pay now, pay laters are right. in the words of Sick Rice hard as hell. Yeah. Um, because usually the difference between the correct play and the incorrect play is very subtle. And also because if you happen to make the wrong play, it's usually a massive error, like well over 0.14. And it's hard. It's not obvious to spot. Like normally a 0.14 error would be difficult. Um, so let's just see here. Um, to get to that point, you're going to really need to roll an eight, and double fours doesn't work. Yeah, four numbers. So you're going to get four numbers, I think. Um, I have it in me. I know it, it's been done the before. Other, well, the other thing with pay now, pay later, and I needed to like pause the video that Stick did and actually watch, because he has a list of deciding – is it time to pay now? And I know that two of them were, if you don't pay now, is there a chance that you won't have to pay at all? And the other one is, um, that I remember seeing was, uh, if you don't, if you don't pay now, is there a chance you won't have to pay at all? And the other one was, um, what was it? I had it and I just lost it. Ah, well, whatever. I'm sure you'll remember it. Yeah, I'm sure I'll come up with it. What, did you decide you don't want to pay now? I feel like this is one of those situations where maybe by not paying now, I might not have to pay at all, because your timing is not particularly good. Yeah. Like, you're probably going to have to break. Yeah. I think this just slots there. I don't think it's time to split just yet. And... Double sixes would be... Okay. Interesting. Oh, the other <clears throat> one is, if you pay now and get missed, is it essentially gin? And the answer is no. Right. Okay, that makes sense. It's just like, if it would be game over, and that is definitely not the case. So let's see. I'm looking at, actually, this... So, 17 plus 46 plus 20 is 66 plus 17 is 83, right? No. Yeah, 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 yeah 83, sorry. It's <laughs> versus, okay. Uh, I actually like this. You just have so few kill and covers. When I hold the cube, I guess you have been rolling pretty high numbers, but. All change. Ace Ace isn't where it wants yeah. to be, but that at least covers. There we go, dealer. Yeah. Dealer! Uh huh. <laughs> Eight ball yeah. from space. Dealer. <laughs> dealer! <laughs> and we know, we know what happens next. Yes, we do. Uh, I mean, honestly, I would just play on. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. Like, like, I mean, it's probably worth at least uh, holding on to it. But yeah. I'll pass. Really? I guess. Well, six six is bad, right? Yeah, that's what I was saying. Like six six so gets you back in yeah, it. Yeah, then, then play on. You have a higher likelihood of rolling six six first roll than I do of gammoning. I think. I don't think I have a three point three percent gammon, or not even three point three, but three percent gammon. Maybe I did. Maybe I did. <laughs> but I could, I mean, I, it's tough to lose there. I guess I do. Okay. Let's see a big fan ski. Ah, not quite. Yeah, the general 5 4 coming. Yep. It's fun when you can just name whatever role you want. And it's like, that's like uh, John Shakori in uh, the sweat I played. <laughs> Oh yeah. Whatever he wants, he just names it, and he seems to get it. I swear, I do it in over when I play over the board with my friends too. I just I can call for my rolls and back him, and like no other. I really wish I could do it in poker. Uh, I think this probably makes the bar. I think it's worth it's probably probably more profitable if you could do it in. Poker. Yeah, way more profitable, as is generally the case between back him and in poker. Um. Great shot. 
I mean, I'm tempted to do this. And then a fan just wins the game. Let's see. What else can we even... I don't like that at all. Yeah, let's just do it. Okay. Was that... What do you think of that? Yeah, no, I think that was right because I was up very much in the race. Right? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. I get the hell out of there. And my, your board's stronger. You're in, yeah, you're in good shape. Yeah. If you fan, it's just over. Right, yeah, it's Jim. Oh, that's not... More than likely Jim. Yeah, that's not quite Jim. Comes in on the two. And I don't love the idea of getting hit again, but... The one is well duplicated. Yeah. And but do I want yet another blot if I get hit? Probably not. There's really a point in moving the other thing. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, look, you know. There you go. This yeah. Still, All right. Yeah. It's just just gonna be. I'm going to go ahead. Let's see. I'm getting hit loose by any even number. I'm just going to go ahead and drop this guy. I have another blot out there in my home board. Yeah, that's a good drop. I mean, yeah. Uh, you never know what's going to happen really there. And uh... I'm, that's, that's a, I mean, your gammon percentage must be pretty close to 30, if not higher. Yeah, it's stone cold drop, especially with yeah. all Blackman out. Yeah. Um, I think uh, I think I'm gonna kill here. I definitely. Lactation K kill the two out. Ooh, ooh. Four four. It's a good response. Yeah, I think we just make the four point. It's a the long term idea probably. Agree with that. I'm just gonna run this guy. Let's make the five now. Okay. We will. Well, this is on. And I think soup might be on, kids. <sighs> I don't know about this, but I don't think I can talk myself out of it. I don't think a hit is strong enough. If I had a better, if I had my five point, I would hit, obviously. But how many builders do you have down there? In there, eleven. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one. I'm I have not a, sure. I have a lot of returns here. Devastating returns. Ace. Six is not as easy. No, and I, I don't even know if I want to. No, I, I know what I wouldn't do, but. I'm going to go with that. That's about where I would settle down. Um, two six. Okay. Well, I'm not thrilled about this play, but I think that's really it. Need tempo. I'm wondering if this is a cube from the bar. You have no home board. I'm going to hit loose on the three is duplicated. I don't think it's, I don't have any real market losers, so I'm going to roll. And five. Seems to be one of the weaker numbers. Yeah, not ideal. I think we just do that. The deuce is potentially duplicated on killing on my on your five. And that also looks like a pretty weak ish. No, oh, I guess safety's up. Actually, that's a pretty good number. Uh, yeah, let's see here. We're a little behind, but I don't really feel like there's much choice there. You just gotta. Yeah. Hope for the best. Um, Get a prime going, so it's not too bad. I think I'm actually going to tighten that up a little bit, and then I would, uh, yeah, I think cleaning there is a smart call. Um, I'm, play, um, I'm a little ahead in the. I guess I'm I, without. I don't have the pip count up. Um, and people watching the video, not that anyone watches these, but if they did, they would know that I'm telling the truth. Uh, I I would guess that I'm up. Let's see. After this roll. Without really looking, I guess those cancel each other out. Um, what am I up like? Ten. Yeah, well, you're up like thirteen pips. Let's say, yeah, I'm up thirteen. Okay. Uh, another two two doesn't totally do much. This in the way of freeing that back guy. I kind of like a landing pad. I think. Helps a little bit defensively. Do I want to just make the two point? Nah, I think I like bringing them around. I could see it being making the two point for sure, though. 
Does he want to go for it? I don't see any other option, man. <laughs> yeah, where's the three? I mean, there's just nothing else good. I don't have anything better to do, you know. Yeah. Could force you back. Maybe you come in with like an ace two or something. Or yeah. It's not such a great entry. No, this is where I go. I smack you, you fan, and I just Cuban win every time. This is the recipe right here. Smack. Yeah, here go. comes the fan. Uh, the six, I think I want to bring him around to safety. Rather than covering the bar. Here comes the fan. Oh. No, but it doesn't really play well. No. Um, two, three, four. Let's make it five. And now, is it on? I'm not actually sure on that. I don't know either. I don't think I have a ton of market losers. I throw the double ones. I may have been better to come up to the two because I'm guaranteed that will oh. the six to to hit out. But then again, I kind of want to stay back now that I'm 35 pips behind, so which I shouldn't say aloud. But mm. no, it's fine. <laughs> um, up three to one. I don't think I'm cubing just yet. Am I? Ugh. I think I'm gonna make a decent home board point here. That's just my intuition. <laughs> that's my Sangman-like intuition. But then that's also going to leave the deuce. You haven't hit a deuce all day. I'm going to just roll. Okay. Um, Wow. So I can't safety that hog. The safest I can get is that. Is that the right idea? Because I don't want to leave two direct shots. I think I'll probably want to do this. I think let's go with that. And then you have some ugly rolls. I guess not many ugly rolls. That's not a great roll. Did it come up? Yeah. Uh, it's not come up on mine. Oh, okay. You rolled a 3-1 if you want to start thinking about it. I should have yeah. lied. I should have lied and then told you that you rolled something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Double twos. <laughs> okay, yeah. There it is. For some reason, it took 8,000 years. Um, so we'll just do... Um, We'll just do this. I think that's probably a fine play. Yeah, get a look at that. Six to escape. Mm, well, doesn't hit. I mean, does not leave me with a good uh, racing chance. But, well, uh, it yeah, leaves you with a shot. shot. Yeah. Yeah, I have to. No I have to. It. There's no cleaning it. Yeah. Well, sometimes there's no cleaning it. Um. Well, with that in mind, I think we just do that. That seems like the highest gammon play. Even if you hit me, I'm still cubing from the bar. Well, go for it. It's, um, it's just gonna have to be that. I think I don't think there's any uh, other option. Okay, well that might be the one hit that saves the cube from the bar is being able to clear that last guy, so I can't hit loose. I mean, there's just no way to clean it. Um, two six. Yes. So I don't think I can cube. I think that's too optimistic. I think I just have to hit you, and then, and yeah. now, now this is a this would be too friendly to cube. I would yeah, imagine. Too good. Too good there. I mean, that's just I mean, that's great. I'm wondering if I want to clear it just to fade, just to avoid like the double four disaster. But I guess that leaves much better shots than double fours to. Okay, we'll just do this. Yeah. All right, here we go. Nice clean looking, nice clean looking board. Looking good for two. Three, two. Safety is all that matters. That will be the only priority. The gamut is basically 100%. I will put on auto roll just for the sake of time let's see if he can do it he's not slow he's never been known to be slow it's doable oh that makes it i think that's probably the right one i don't know i i'm talking out of my ass i have no idea which one's the right one i don't think it makes a huge difference that's the right two Pretty sure you're good at this point. Okay. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty confident. Oh, it's doable if I rolled an ace and you rolled double sixes. Um, 
Uh, but no, not without a crossover. Right yeah, so you need to get one in. Yeah. Yeah. Two one two one. Anyway. No. All right, five to one. So. All right. So I think with that point made, I just went out. Smacks it. I don't know if it is a run out. Why'd you run out? Uh, well, with that point made, I want to try to just get the hell out of there. Okay. I you might be right. I just didn't. That I didn't. It's my guess. I really rarely ru- have been running as a reply lately. I'm not totally clear on why. It just has felt like slotting or making a point has always been. I like that, I like that rule. Let's see. I think we can just play him around to safety. We're up five to one. That's a good roll. Block sixes very nicely. Yeah. Uh, I think I just bump both of these for lack of... No. Hang on. Let's see. Let's see. Problem is I can't really burn a one. I feel like I have to bump up. I'm already getting looked at. One. So how about like that or something? Duplicate fours. Is that, is that, I mean, I could see that being so, so wrong that it's scary. But I feel like I really want to bump up. Since I'm already getting looked at, I might as well have the upside. Is it worth leaving that shot, though? Maybe not. I think let's just do this. Let's make the safer play when we're up 5-1. to one. If it was double match point, ugh, I really don't know about that. Two, and I think I just have to play that three, unfortunately. Mm-hmm. Position, race, threats. I would say I have the better position. You have the race, and I would say I have threats. And they say you need two of the three to double, and then one of the three to take. I think I have a stronger position here. And I think think that you have the you have the race I know that obviously and then I have more threats so I think that probably is two out of three right there that might be a double and again do I really have solid threats here I mean it's actually not a lot not a lot of like spares to hit around with I think I'll hold off on one okay I was definitely taking I would probably be just down 5-1, a lot more inclined to be cubing in general, though. That's a big-time 3-3 three, three to block sixes. And then... Uh, five. Oh, five. Sorry, yeah. Do I do that? Or do I just bring them all down? Let's see. 5-5 five, five is my only true freedom anyway, which is unlikely. I'm going to probably have to leave a shot. Versus, I don't like breaking the midpoint though. I'm going with that. I don't like it, but I'm going for it. Interesting. That's so crazy about this. Yeah, Um, poorly timed. Yeah, really not good. Um, One, two. Yeah, I mean, I really have to maintain. Oh, man. Uh, maybe a seven. I have the better board. So if you want to hit, I mean, it leaves the midpoint at least. I don't want to give up the mid just yet. I definitely agree. This and this, I'm sure, wins the most gamins. Uh so now I think it's time to just leave the one shot, for sure. I mean, if it hits, it's it's gin. Um, yeah. With a bounce, anyway. And if it doesn't hit, well, that doesn't hit. Um. Okay. Well, let's see here. Paint it up and look like that. We'll do this. I don't think playing off the the anchor is a good idea here. So just looking at it, I don't think I'm up 
a ton in the race. I probably would. Not a penny. Yeah. Okay. It's dead even. Yeah. So I will definitely not be cubing. That's awkward. That's bad. Yeah, it actually is. It's pretty terrible. It's like the worst. It gives me a chance if I can hit it. I'm actually tempted to leave the deuce again. Let's see. I guess duplicating deuces or threes is equally beneficial. So let's do that. And this. Right, let's see here. Okay. Well, let's see it, baby. Give me that return. Give me that return. Just to, uh, return. Just hit and hope for Jim. This is an important role, Ian. <laughs> this is this is an important role. Yeah. <sighs> and I think we do that and just win a gammon if he fans the five. Okay. Just, um, this is. Pretty unbalanced. Yeah. Oh, he makes yeah. the anchor, at least. So at least, I mean, there's life after death, you know? Yeah, so that's the six. Ooh. Well, I don't have a... Yeah, but you at least, force. you got in quick. Okay. Yeah, I'm in. Oh, well, that's short-lived. Well, let's see. I think we just do this. Bounce around for a good while. Yeah. Uh, that looks fine. No, that leaves two shots versus six. Whoops. Hmm. Five, six. All right, let's do that. Five, four is fine. Five, four is fine. Let's not roll. Okay. So threes, some ugly threes. Looking good for, I'm going to turn on auto roll again. Uh oh. Whoops. Forced. Right? Hang on. Let me make sure this is forced. The four is definitely forced. And then, yeah. Here it goes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the day you hit that shot. No. Here we go. Wow. The BG shot. Ah. This is pretty unbalanced. <laughs> uh yeah. <laughs> the good news is you'll probably have a pretty high player rating because well, you've spent most know, of the I'm games on the bar. Bad. Where's the game? The game is, um, game is, as the Danes would say, the game is here. You decide how to play the early double threes. That's, that's the, uh, that's what the Danes say. How do you decide how to play early double threes? Because I never really know. Um, well, I know early double twos are, you know, that's, Pretty straightforward, but I believe threes are always down from the mid, and unless you're hitting and like, unless as the Danes say, the game is like going on your home board with like a blitz or something. Yeah, you'd probably play twenty four, twenty one. Yeah, I tend to play those two if I'm not hitting, but I know sometimes I'll make my five if it's a hit. For sure, almost definitely oh, yeah. make my five yeah. if it's a hit. Uh, I think I probably want to do that. That looks fine. It's a good yeah, return. Yeah. There it is. Do we hit there or here? I think we hit there. I agree because um, it's just the immediate return. Yeah. At this point, I pretty much just have to hit um shot. Make the anchor. Um, at least, but then the one is not does not play very well. No, it sure doesn't. I guess I just split up here. I don't yeah, I don't have many generals. 
14 plays okay. Oh, I really want to do that, but I'm up 7-1, and that's so bloody. But I do have three back already. Let's see, how many returns does that give you? A lot of threes. A lot of eights. A lot of sixes. I don't know about that. Let's not do that. Versus, what's the alternative? That. Oh, man. We're down a million in the race. So, let's go for it. We're up 7-1. We can. I'll be curious to see that. And that's not a great return shot by Ian. I think that covers, and I like having this guy back on the 24. That's not such a good roll, is it? <laughs> it's not ideal. No, I don't think so. A lot of awkward aces. See, the only thing is ones don't play well at all. So why do I want to give you a good one, you know? Well, you're giving me a good one from the bar anyway. If you kill. Mm -hmm. Not bad. I have no idea what I would do. I don't either. That, I have no idea. Man. I just took a pensive drag off of this e -seg to contemplate mm -hmm. this move like a professor with a pipe. Uh, do you have aspirations to be a professor someday? No. No. You're going to go straight from high school science to meth cooking? Um, I wouldn't say that far, but, uh, I mean, I don't know. I've been thinking about going to grad school <coughs> for, like, an MS. Like, oh, nice. Like, yeah. I think I'm just going to slot my three-point. I don't see anything better to do. I like maintaining all the other defensive points. Yeah, the uh, the MS in supply chain management is seems to be what all the smart kids are doing these days. So, oops, I don't, I have no idea about that play. I have no idea no, about. But I think with the return shot, I felt like that was justified. And I think this gives me some better sixes. Let's see what happens. Uh, that just does not play. A lot, a lot of ugly aces. Play. Yeah, I agree with that. Play a little better, that's, I, better. that's a good response. That's a great shot. A great shot. <sighs> wow, so I'm actually up in the race now. I must be. All right. <laughs> a nice, perfect hit, but maintain every other point roll. Yeah. 65. Play. Yeah, I think we just bring it. Mm, what about this? Is that fucking crazy? Uh, probably. That's probably a bit much. That's probably a bit much. Let's... I don't want to split my anchor. I don't want to split the mid. I don't want to do anything else. I think I'm just going to do that. Punishment. And I don't. I don't think I'm going to hit. Yeah. I think I'm going to. I think I'm going to take advantage of my race lead and just hit you next time anyway. Five. And I think the six just slots. That's a big fan. I'm still not finding a cube up seven one in this spot. Um.
Wow. Hmm. What about this? Is that the end of the world? That's not great. Whoops. What about... Is that the end of the world? That's also not great. It doesn't duplicate anything but the one. But it does maintain the valuable midpoint. If I, I mean, if I break the midpoint, I just crumble. So, let's see. I'm only leaving 5-4 and 5-5. Five, five. And then also a bunch of returns the other way. That duplicates some fours. I think let's just do it. Let's just do that. I'm up seven to one. I don't know about that. That's a big fan. Yeah. I think I just played a safety and hope for one more fan. Oh, we can't find it. And now a return, an ace from space is big time. Do six is not big time. I think it has to be that. Sixes and ones to hit. None of those. Bricks it. Yeah, really huge. Um, I think the three is just going to have to play up and then the five for there. I don't want to get gamma inside. I'd rather not leave that guy sitting. Um, in the... Oh, that's just wild. Did you see the hit? Uh, 20 to wow. midpoint? Yeah. yeah. Wait, oh, uh, that I'm not crazy about. I yeah. That mid. I, I didn't see it. I didn't even consider it, though. But who knows? Maybe it's right. It could be. You never really know. Yeah. Man. What's the move? First, I saw the spare there, and I was like, "No, no, I put that spare there." That was that was after the roll. I mean, if I if I had the spare on the five, I mean, that's an obvious play. And, but... What does this leave? Any six? A double hit is just gin beyond belief. Six one six two versus. I think let's do that. We have plenty of flexibility. That's a good roll. Let's just roll a big... That's a good roll. Okay. Good, yeah. Controls the outfield. Plays... I am not interested in cubing. I am interested in hitting every single time. That's a good shot. That's a good shot. You still have plenty of defense going on here, so this is not... It's not, a, it's not poorly timed. 6-2 is good. A great shot. Three. There's awkwardness possible now. We yeah. The gap there is hope. Yeah, definitely. A lot of awkward. Play too badly, and um, the awkwardness starts pretty soon. It starts this roll. Yeah. You're timed well too. You fanned the right number of times that you didn't crumble on your end. Yeah. I'd love for you to roll like. I guess double threes doesn't crumble you too hard, but it's not two good. In, two in, two in, two um, Two stiff. Uh, six, five, three. Need to get one off that. Two, two, three plays fine. Five plays fine. Nice 54 coming is what I'm calling for. 51. Not quite. I don't think there's a reason to leave a shot. I don't see that happening just yet. Can't That's move. That's good. I'm, I'd rather not move. Than... Great, yeah. A two. And this is a problem. Well, I can't play the six. So. Six, but it's just getting worse and worse. Yeah. I'm, I need to find it quickly. This is um, going to be this, I think. I need to leave the guys back there. Um, let's just look at other things, other ideas. Two, three, four. Don't hate it. Um, I think I'm just done. Uh, really just go on here. Just to prevent gammons if things don't go my way. Yeah. 
now I think it's just time. And I'm leaving the direct shot anyway, so why not leave the flexibility for later? Oh, I don't think there's gamuts here uh, for me, <laughs> based on what I'm seeing. But uh, I mean, this might be this might be really one of those weird situations where, uh, like, a cube is somehow right. I don't know. Um, my match score stuff is uh, really not good, but. Right, where you lose your market as soon as you hit me, and you're just going to lose the match anyway if you go down 8-1. to one. Yeah. I mean, it's just so likely that I lose. Um, at this point, there's just not gammons here. Right. So. Yeah. I mean, that might have been a cube. I'm very uh, curious. I, I, wouldn't have, I wouldn't have disagreed with it. When you're down 8-1, you've got to be a pretty big-time underdog to come back versus... That extra point could be huge. It's true. All right, seven to two. So I think that looks. F Do I want to bump this gap one more? Let's see. Yeah, this gives me. I'm duplicating some sixes. Let's go with that. Let's get that extra builder. Six one. I think I just run. I don't have anything else to do. Hmm. I have to hit rather than make the five here. I think that is the uh, preferred play. I mean. What am I doing here? You know, you roll a six and then you're out. Yeah. I mean, it's just, it's hard to pass up the five, but I mean, I just feel like this is, I mean, I feel like that's totally necessary at this point. I feel like I need to be pretty aggressive. Yeah, I definitely agree. And... Let's see, now I'm down a bunch in the race, so I'm going to hit, I think. I'm doing it. Old blots. Old blots yeah. out yeah. there. Clear eyes, full heart, can't lose. Well, I won't be folding, FYI. Well, I, I know that. <laughs> I mean, I think down this much, I think there's... There's some equity in uh, maybe cubing here. I had some something to think about at least. Yeah, I agree. I think it's worth at least thinking about. It's probably worth taking one more roll. It's not particularly strong. Is that nuts? I already have two back. Versus. Let's see what else I'm covering with the five. That one's that one's for sure. This seems super weak. I'm down so much in the race. Man, I'm leaving just everything though for returns. Man. I think I'm okay with this. I think I can live with this. Yeah, I probably, I probably would have cubed on the other play. That's what I was thinking is uh, the other play. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm yeah. immediately putting you in like you run a very large risk of four points. Right. Uh, going the other way. Yeah. I, um, that... So let's just do 3-2 uh, here. Uh, we'll do that. Okay. Punished immediately. Three and we'll move up there. Big fan, that's big huge, fan now. That's huge. I mean, that's like really the worst time to fan with four blots out there. Yeah. I was almost thinking of cubing on that turn. Yeah. Ah, uh, well, I will. I won't be cubing. Don't. Very gamish. So yeah. Uh, and I think I'd rather have the midpoint just for long term. And there's another fan on the three pointer. Yep. Typical. Uh, this duplicates ones. And just wins me a bunch of games, I would imagine. Let's 
safety him up. Uh, that's not quite it. Let's leave the one shot for it all. Can't find it. Given that I have to leave the direct shot anyway, uh, is there a reason not to slice? It puts an extra blot out there, I guess, is a reason. That would be a reason. But if I get hit, I'm just going to lose anyway. This wins gammons to just win it all. Let's just do it. I, I don't know. That's a tough call. You're going to fan. I mean, what are the chances that you don't fan? <laughs> right. I mean, the problem is, though, I mean, hit. Um, I mean, my. I mean, obviously, my desire to gammon here is pretty heightened, right? A cube gammon is. Yeah. Huge. So, I mean, I'm looking for less market losers than usual, right? So, I mean, a four, and I imagine most, most numbers with a four, <coughs> we are probably going to lose the market, um, given the math score and the fact that you have the other blot out there. If you can't hit cover, if you have to leave another blot to hit back, something like that. Um, so... I think given the math score, I think I'm just gonna have to push it to the test. I think that's probably there. You go. That's that's the Ian. Yeah, anyway, so yeah, that's that's what we were all I expecting. Covers pretty nicely. I think we just have to play super safe. Yeah, I'm glad I did. That would have been mega punishment. Yeah, yeah. and that did a very nice, uh, very nice roll, very clean play there. Yeah. Um, although that gap no that's I have I mean if I I definitely don't want to do this because then a six is forced and if I can't cover it yeah. so I want to do let's see actually yeah, versus yeah. hang on I already have okay so bang 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 let's see that leaves five one and five five I can live with that all right, twenty one. Yeah, I mean, anyway. yeah. All right, six six is bad. Let's see. Do I want to do that? Versus, I think this is probably better. I'll just turn on auto roll. Keep it safe. Doesn't matter what happens. We're going to, yeah, we just win. All right. Wow, we're already 53 minutes into this. Let's. So I guess let's just go over the major errors. Let me pause and pull up Extreme Gammon. Okay, here we are. We played basically pretty evenly over the course of the, the match, and we're so far into this video, I think let's just go over the major mistakes, Um, like the 100-plus errors. Just for the sake of time. So the first one being this cube was actually a huge take. Yeah. Um, I mean, I guess your winning percent chance isn't that low, but staring at like what looked like 30% gammons was yeah. pretty terrifying. Um, I think this is one where, you know, I'd probably play around with variations on this. Um, I think that what I would think might turn into a pass um, Certainly moving the checker from the 24 to the 22 would make that a huge pass, I believe. Um, yeah, for another direct look. Um, well, I mean, the six hits from 15 anyway. Yeah. But, I mean, I, it double kills. I, I get two kills in then with a 6-3 or a 6-1. Or 6-4 yeah. or 6-1. So, I mean, there's that. Um, I, I would imagine that makes a huge pass. Yeah, I don't know. I would have definitely taken in your spot or passed in your spot as well i said that yeah. all right so yeah. the next one i guess is yeah this was actually a slight error i would have also made this same play hit on hit on my side of the board yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, it's odd. Uh, usually with the early responses it's hitting on the other side of the board is right but uh yeah i mean it's just one of those cases where you just want to get your bar point in you got two men back so 
Yeah. yeah. And it was, you were absolutely, you were right. I'm just looking at this cube. I had a uh, almost, I had a 9% chance to gammon here. I can't believe that. I thought I had less than a 3% chance. So I'm a moron. It was a, almost an 80 error to offer that cube when I could have just played on yeah, for my time. Yeah, I'm 98. That cube um, was timed correctly, actually. That was the exactly correct time, uh, 0.005 on no double. Yeah. All right. That's good. Gosh. So next. Oh, wow. This is a huge blunder to actually make the bar. What did I do? Why is it such a huge blunder? Um, that is a... Nice. Whoa. Dang. Hang on. I got to pause the video one second. Let me reload this match. Grid game and closed. Sorry, one sec. Okay, I guess false alarm, but let's go over this 6-2 play. Why is this such a huge, huge... Why? How is this a 300 error? Um, double ones, maybe? I guess, I guess, yeah, it leaves me, it leaves me vulnerable just long-term. Giving up that point, I guess, is yeah. a huge... But just, I mean, such a bad... Give, breaking that... You're down in the race, and I think that a lot of times... Hold on to the five point from there is better than the bar. Yeah. The bottom checker, so I think that's yeah. You know, okay. That's right. And then the six two that I played, I found the wrong six two. It was actually make that other it was a I guess that's not a big enough error to even qualify. Um and then so let's look at this cube, the first one. That I missed there. Yeah, these a couple of that and then the other one was too good. Um, interesting. Yeah. So this, yeah. I guess it's probably partially match score down three, nothing that I makes it su so. that makes it such a big error. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, game four. Oh, wow. I missed a huge cube here. I think I talked about cubing and didn't go for it. I thought I just had still some problems potentially coming around. And I guess it was three to one. Okay. A couple, couple of missed ones. A couple there. of missed cubes here. I'm, and I remember saying, I think I might cube. Good, yeah. I remember saying before you did it that I might cube from the bar and then didn't end up pulling the trigger. Yeah. So that one was actually a cube from the bar. All right. Game five. Uh, this five, three. Just coming on the five and hit with three. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I guess I need tempo. Yeah, you're yeah, down. Yeah. You're down sizably in the race i guess yeah. yeah all right um my three two i made the bar let's see it was oh block the six and get the other guy safe that makes sense uh and then i missed a cube before the six six wow a lot of aggressive cubing up five nothing given that scenario i would have thought but that's a huge huge double wow i thought my gammons would be higher high enough that it wasn't um, worth uh, yeah. yeah all right so that's good to know uh four three in game six ran to safety what would it be instead another hit wow this is this must this has totally got to be just you're down a million match in the score. yeah match yeah. score yeah totally yeah, this that's where i'm really uh really uh not you know up to snuff right? yeah like if, if anything like that's something that needs to be studied but it's just it's hard to find resources out there on that material yeah and then this six four oh you had a guy on the bar so it just limits your return shots the deuce is duplicated the four is duplicated too oh my god so much duplication yeah. yep yep um yes run out yeah the five three Oh wow! It what the uh, I asked if you saw the hit, and you were right not to hit. It would have been a monster, monster error to hit, and this is only an eighty-five error. The move you played, the move I yeah. berated mm -hmm. you for not playing, was horrible. So just play out and leave the two shots. I guess it's a timing thing. Yeah, and then I don't care if I'm hit. I have two anchors. And then five, five. I guess you have to stay there for the six, three, or something like that. Yeah, I mean, it gives me two shots uh, if things go wrong, as opposed to only having the, the one number, right? So a double direct. Yeah, and then a very clear cube, obviously. Yeah. And yeah. then this last game is a mess. It looks like 2-6, yeah. I found. It was not a kill. Wow. It was just walk right into the line of fire. Huge error not to... Um, yep, yeah. and this is just too too clean for being so far behind the 5-1. And, I mean, I'm... 
I'm, interestingly enough, I'm missing cubes yeah. from the bar immediately. And, I, you know, this is something that was considered, but, I mean, yeah, you know, it was there. And, again, this is another one, another cube that's, you know, I'm 61%, I guess. That's pretty good. Um, and look at that. It was the wacko 7-5 hit on the next one. Uh, huge, huge 7-5 hit on the 5-2. Oh. Uh, so, glad you talked me out of that. And then I wonder if it's still, it probably would have been a cube, even from the bar. I would, have, I would imagine. If that one's a cube, if the next one's a cube, I would imagine yeah. it would have to be. It would definitely have been, yeah. Um, the cube, this. it turns out it Q wasn't. I eventually sent, it was pretty horrible. I mean, this is, um, this is really probably what's killing the PR. But I mean, I, you know, I'm down what was it seven to two yeah two or something you know i don't know yeah uh, at that point i'm trying to pull off the stops yeah um, i i think it made it made sense to me at least that you you're trying to get the gammon for four points yeah all right uh well good stuff good plan pretty much it. Yep. thanks for uh thanks for doing the video yeah all right talk to you soon see ya. Bye.